Hi guys, I am at the amazing Warwick Castle. I don't know how much you can um, actually see behind me. If I move over here, you might be able to see a bit better. Um, Warwick Castle in Warwickshire uh, in England. This is one of my favorite um, locations to, to uh, ghost hunt at. Um, and hi Emma, good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you here. Um, I'm gonna take you guys into a really interesting area actually once I've I'll just give you an idea of the scale of this place. It's absolutely huge. Um, to give you a quick a quick look around, I think you can probably see um, a little bit behind me. I'm going to turn around. Um, hopefully you can see behind me there as well. This is a fantastic location. It is huge. Um, but we're having a quick break and um, I'm here with Fright Nights, Fright Nights Warwickshire. Um, on a public ghost hunt and I wanted you guys to come with me into where we've just been with the guests, the poor guests, um, <laughs> the poor guests. Um, I want to take you in here because it, there's a couple of places that I've been to tonight. I have been to Warwick Castle before um, during the day and on ghost hunts as well but there are a couple of parts of the location tonight that I have never been in before, so it's an extra special treat for me. Here we got Lisa. Hi Lisa, good to see you. Um, I know it's late, um, but that's the sound of bottles. They've got all their Halloween, uh, some Halloween stuff going on um, as well, but I want you to come with me into this scary as, scary as goodness place. Right, come with me. Let's just turn the camera around. Um, right. Okay, so I apologise if if this cuts out. We're going into the actual castle now uh, through this through this way. Now, this is a room that uh, they use for um, part of the the sort of scare the scare tour um, kind of side of it. So it's the kind of dungeon scare tour. So all of what you're seeing now is fake. It's not um, it's not real. It's it's props. It's uh, built up. So these things aren't real, um, but here we go. I just want to bring you through here. Um, there is a mirror maze in here, and I wanted to bring you guys in. Now, I need to open this door. Right. Okay, so mir mirrors are fantastic in terms of paranormal activity. I need to put something on the floor here so that I know which way is out. Because once this door closes behind me, it's a mirror door. You can see me there. Hello. Um, once this door closes, I won't know my way out unless I put something there. So I'm going to put my phone case just down there so that I know where that is. Right. So as I said, this is, uh, this is a mirror maze and it's made up with some fake uh, scary looking things. There's some, some horrible uh, looking things in here. So we're going to try and ignore those. The energy in here, though, is really intense. Um, and I just wanted to come back here while there was nobody else in here to show you guys. Okay, that's me and the camera there. Um, I'm poking my, my camera in first because I, I can't tell what's a mirror and what's a, a way to go through. Um, yes, Lisa, very creepy. Very creepy indeed. Um, and I believe there are some fake uh, doorways here and things where people would jump out at the, the people visiting this location. It's just me in here. I'm completely alone. Uh, just me and many reflections of me. Um, it is we've had some really interesting sounds we had a lot of knocking and banging in here a minute ago he's not real um he's not real either thank goodness um but i just wanted to come in here and just listen again for the for the spirit noises in here they were making a a lot of noises a minute ago so i'm going to turn the camera around see if we can get those noises happening again the energy is very weird in here um, it, it's as if it comes and goes in waves of energy. Yes, I'm beginning to regret coming in on my own as well. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> I 
Um, tell me what you guys are picking up on. I'm just going to ask out for the spirits to... to make some noises. The energy that was here when we were here with the guests... Can you make some noises again, please? Let me stand still. I'm just going to stand here. I can hear knocking. I can feel energies closing in around me. So for those just tuning in, I'm at Warwick Castle. I'm in the scare maze, I'm in the mirror maze. Um, it's, it feels very nerve wracking in here. It's absolutely, it's, the energy is intense in here. We were hearing knocking and tapping earlier. Can you make that noise again, please? I really hope I don't have to exit here quickly because I'm not going to find my way out. Can you show yourself on the camera or in one of the mirrors? I'm here alone. picking up on a strange energy here and um, the best way I can describe it is it's it, it's an energy that's showing itself as a jester. This energy um, likes to scare people, it likes to uh, jump out at people and make them jump and I'm also seeing shadow figures. I'm going to turn the light down a bit so that you guys and just about to see. Come forward. It's a lot darker in here now that I've done that. Come on. I keep seeing hooded figures just darting across. And I do feel that they feed off the energy of people that come here during the day. Um, it's, it's set up as a mirror maze, and I think people, you know, actors um, jump out at people and. Um, Frighten people, and it's part of the part of the exhibition here. I'm just going to turn the camera around again so you can see what I can see, hopefully. And turn the light up a bit. Um, come on, you were making noise earlier. Can you do it again? I feel quite um, breathless, I suppose is a, is a good way to put it. I, I do have, um, this is the exit, this is the doorway out. We can't go in there because it's alarmed. Um, but there's a lot of energy coming through that way and I was sensing a figure in this doorway earlier as I stood here with my back to that door. Can you make a sound? It's really difficult to tell, walking around on your own, um, what spirit and what is your own reflection. <laughs> So you kind of see a shadowy figure or you, you see something darting. 
Um, and if you're moving yourself, you don't realise that it's you that's, you know, you've caught your own reflection in a mirror. Um, so it's a very confusing place to be. Um, oh, it's, it's absolutely horrible um, in here. The energies in here are intense, really. And the feeling in here is so, I just can't really describe it very well to you, but the feeling is so intense in here. Um, I'm expecting to walk into a mirror at any moment. There goes another one. Okay, I wasn't moving that time and I've just seen a reflection. That's the sound of a guest. Those are guests I can hear, so I'm going <laughs> to try and find my way out. Right, hang on. Oh, is that a mirror? No, that's, I can't see for the lights behind me. There we go. Okay. Right, is that a mirror? No. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a different area now. Um, that is creepy as anything in there. That's definitely worth a visit. Is that a mirror? No, that's the exit. Okay. So just gonna pick up my phone case. Let's hope that hasn't moved. Um, so this this mirror maze um, in Warwick Castle is extremely creepy, extremely scary. Um, and it's well worth a visit if you're here on a, on a, a ghost hunt and this, this area is open, it's definitely worth coming into. So let's take you guys on a walk around um, around here. Is this the door? Hang on, I've got to find the door now. That's not the door. Oh, crumbs. Here we go. This is the door. Okay. okay, so coming out of the mirror maze now, I'm going to continue walking with you guys and take you back outside again. There's some guests. Hello. Hello! Just passing through, don't mind me. Um, okay, mirror maze is very creepy by the way. There's nobody else in there, you guys should go in. Okay, so back outside now. Good grief, that was very interesting and very fun. I have to say I enjoyed that, I enjoyed that a lot. So I'm going to give you guys um, a view of the castle from the outside. Gosh, you can really tell the energy's changed um, coming out of there, so let's show you outside hello somebody took a photo there so if you guys are wondering what the what the flash was there that was just somebody taking a picture one of the guests taking a photo there right i'm going to turn the camera around again so you guys can see what i can see this is really um one of my favorite locations um it, it is marvelous it's absolutely huge so i hope you guys can see um and get an idea of the scale of this place Anyone hear that breath as Cass opened the door? Gosh. Um, I did have breathing in front of my face um, last time I was in that maze. Oh, let's show you this. This is cool. So what you're seeing now is all real. This is not a, a Disneyland mock-up. It's genuine. It's real. Um, Warwick Castle, Warwickshire in England absolutely beautiful location one of my favorite places to come ghost hunting um, and to do these events at so i'm just giving you i'm walking around a bit more of a distance to give you an idea of the scale of this location um, i think you guys can see there so we've just come from where those red lights are over there and there's a little kind of tent thing we've just come from behind there and um, that's where we were in the mirror maze and this is the outside of Warwick Castle here now. Um, along this side we have another one of the towers. Don't know how much of that you can make out in the darkness. I'm sorry it's again ghost hunting in the dark. <laughs> it's the best way. So I'm just walking around giving you guys an idea of the scale of this location. I'm just going to keep going. Um, we have access to another area here too um, which isn't usually accessible to the public. Um, the lady that's running the event also works at Warwick Castle. So when she has a ghost hunt here, we, we sometimes get access to different areas, which is super exciting. We love that. So say hi. It's good to see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just heading on down to one of the other areas that we have access to. Um, just showing you guys. It is a vast location. It really is huge. It's absolutely beautiful, lovely place. I've just got to walk around. Uh, can I get around that way? I think I can go around there. Okay, so coming around again. I can get down there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to head on into this um, tower bit down here. 
Um, so those are some of the guests taking a little walk out that way. Are the snacks good? I don't know, I haven't seen any snacks yet. It's all been a bit of a crazy rush. Okay, so here we go. Right, come with me. I don't think there are any guests here at the moment, so we'll head on up. Here we go. So this is known as the ghost tower. I think the, um, coming up the spiral staircase here. This is another area that is new to me. I haven't been here before. I've been to Warwick Castle before, but I haven't been to this particular area. Where am I going? Here we go. Right. Okay. Oh, just saw a spirit. Okay. Yep, I'm following you. It's okay. Um, so some of this stuff is original. Some of it is props. Some of it is decoration. Um, but a lot of it is... Um, a lot of it is original. So the, the panelling here, the stairs, all original. Um, and then we're going into an area that's been re reconfigured and redesigned a little bit. But all this stonework is real. This isn't a this isn't like a, a Disneyland sort of mock up. Um, it's a real castle. Okay, so this is good. We're in here completely alone. It's a nice fireplace. The atmosphere in here is extremely heavy. Goodness me, I've chosen the scariest areas to come into to show you guys around. That's good, right? You like that stuff. Okay, so this is the ghost tower. Um, picking up on very strong energies in here tonight. I am here alone. Again, a bit puffed out because I've just walked up the spiral staircase and I'm not very fit. Um, the energy in here is very intense, picking up on what feels like sticky blood underneath my feet, um, indicating bloodshed. Um, this location is very old, so we've got a lot of time uh, time periods to, to look at here, which is good, we like that. Um, I've got the idea of a, a gentleman who's been chained or, or uh, trapped in here somehow, and he came through earlier, his energy was coming through as we did a walk around. Now I'm told there's a room down these steps haven't been to yet so I'm gonna have a look down there. I need my torch on. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Right, let's go. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, we're at Warwick Castle. Or well, I'm at Warwick Castle, I'm completely alone at the moment. I'm hearing funny noises uh, coming from down here. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be down here. She did say that we could just see if it's around. Hope it's not. Maybe I don't have any. Oh, crumbs. Okay. In case you guys want to see. <laughs> Hang on. Let's show you where I am. Okay. I've just opened the door. I'm not. I was told there was a room down here, but I hope this is the right one. Um. I hope I don't set off any alarms coming in here. Wow, this is creepy. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hi, Ben. Good to see you. It's very strange in here. It's actually horrible in here. The energy is really, really intense. What's behind this? I really hope I'm not. I don't know what's going on there, that's weird. <sighs> okay, there's a gentleman here, let's talk to him. I'm just going to turn the camera around and see if I can get a conversation going with this gentleman in spirit. Okay. Okay, so let me know if you can sense anything, guys. The gentleman that's here, in this room with me, could you make a sound? Please, could you knock on something or tap on something? Or better still, could you... That's my torch, sorry. <laughs> better still, could you show a light in this room? Or show your face on this camera? Could you stand next to me?
Could you build your energy, please, sir, so that other people can see you standing next to me? So an interesting thing with spirits is sometimes they make you feel cold and sometimes they make you feel hot. And the gentleman that's with me at the moment is um, bringing in a, a temperature change, but it's, the temperature's going up. It's getting hotter. Now, I'm in a small room, and it would be normal for, obviously, a room to get warmer um, with people in it. But it's really hot in here. It, it feels really uncomfortably hot. The gentleman that's with me has given me the name John. I know it's a generic name, but it's the name he's given me. Um, and he is referring to working here. Now to get a time period, it, this, he's talking about the, uh, constructing carts and wheels on carts. So we're looking at wooden carts and he's talking about making the wheels for these. Um, I'm picking up some words that he's saying, but I've also got a visual, um, a visual representation of that as well with him. Thank you, sir. Could you do something in this room, please? Could you make a noise or move something in this room? Could you move one of these benches? Talking. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that, but I'm hearing his voice. Could you say your name? Three doors to this room, I don't know which one I can. How are you guys feeling now? Is there anything that you're you're picking up on? How do you feel? I just heard a noise. Being careful because I don't want to set any alarms off, but I also want to show you guys around. So it's a, it's a bit of a catch-22 in terms of wanting to show you guys around. I think that's a cupboard. It looks like a cupboard. Um, but I don't want to set alarms off as well. I don't want to obviously cause any disruption. But let's see. Okay, so that's the floor creaking, just to let you guys know. Right, there's these beautiful lamps, uh, chandelier type things here. Okay, so we're going back down the stairs here. I'm going to take you guys round. Watch, watch my step as I go. Uh, spiral staircase. I can still hear his voice, that gentleman. What was that? Not to, try not to set any alarms off. I hope I don't. Okay, we're outside. Oh, another adventure. Many adventures. Okay. 
Okay, so Warwick Castle, I'm having a great time. Let's see where else I can take you to show you around very quickly before I need to go back. So this is now heading towards where the base room is. I'm actually going to take you guys into um, hello, hello, into another part of the location. Let's take you around this way. I've got a little bit of time just to explore very quickly before we go into our vigils. Let's go down here because there was some. Oh no, let's. I know. I've got a better idea. We're heading back. We're heading back towards the maze. We're not going to go into the maze again. I've had enough of that for a minute. Um, I can't go in that way. Okay. Having a look around at some of the guests there. So just showing you guys where we are. I'm holding the camera up high because I'm not filming the guests. Hi guys! Hello! Okay. Hi Kerry, good to see you watching, thank you very much. We're at Warwick Castle, having a little wander around now. Um, it's moving inside. How much you guys can see, let's try and light it up a bit for you too, there we go. Okay, absolutely love this location, um, and particularly with the two areas that we've had access to tonight that don't usually we don't usually have access to, it's very exciting. Oh, that's a mannequin, that's not a spirit. That is a spirit. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> Bear pit, Emma says. Hmm. Maybe later. Okay, there are mannequins here, so this can be a little, a little um, unnerving when you see these lovely mannequins in these rooms. Hi Bob, good to see you're watching. Thank you very much. I'm at Warwick Castle, I'm walking around on my own for a minute. We've had some really interesting energies coming through. Very interesting energies. Um, some very scary stuff too, actually. We've had a, a scary jester in the mirror maze. Um, hooded figures. Lots of occult uh, stuff coming through. Sorry, I panned through a bit fast there just to show you guys around again. There are mannequins, so just be aware of that. Okay, right. <laughs> it's a bit of a whistle stop uh, tour. I've got a few minutes to show you guys around before we go into the vigils. That's another mannequin, just to let you guys know. Right. Okay, now I want to head across to one of the rooms that I really sense very strong energy in. There we go. This is one of my favourite corridors here. That door, obviously, that door open behind me. Um, and here we're looking down onto the Great Hall. Absolutely beautiful location. That's a fly. Don't get excited about that. Ugh. There we go. Right. Okay, so walking along here. I'm going to show you down again into the great hall down there. I don't know if you dropped my phone. Okay, there's lots of energies here. I pick up on a gentleman here who likes to trip people up, and I feel they fall down these stairs. Something that I have picked up on here before. I can hear voices probably guests in that room so just be careful as I go in because I don't want to scare people. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi, sorry to disturb you. It's the wrong person. We're... It's wrong scare. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wrong person. Wrong person to scare. Um, so we've got guests in here. We're live on Facebook at the moment. Ooh. I haven't got you guys on camera because I you know <laughs> haven't asked your permission. Um, so how's it how's it going in here? I'm just going to pan. Yeah. Um, when we came in, we were standing 
I think started to burn, and I felt like this is the last time I was in here as well, like really heavy. Right. And I feel like, and you feel it as well, don't you? Yeah. We feel like we're being pulled okay. to the floor, and now we're sitting on the floor, we feel like we're being pulled into the floor. Okay. And it's like, it's a really like a horrible feeling. Like mm-hmm. it yeah. wants to envelope us in. Right, so you feel like you've been sucked into yeah. the floor. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Right, I'm just showing the guys um, this bed here. Feeling a blockage in my throat. Somebody was affected in the throat earlier, was it you? Uh, no, but there was somebody coughing. Yeah, there was two people coughing. Yeah. Was that yeah. was down with the mirrors, wasn't it? That was in the mirror maze. Well, we're okay. Go here, so. Well done, Lisa. So, um, so you've picked up on that. That's something that has been experienced tonight. People's throats have been affected. Um, we've had people coughing, and, and I think one of the ladies felt that her throat was being restricted down in the mirror maze where we just were. So what I'm going to do, um, is it okay if I stick with you guys for a yeah. minute and do yeah. some calling out and stuff? Should we shut the door? Let's close this. Okay, so. Turn this round and turn the light down. Okay, right, I'm going to park myself over here, out of your way. If there's any spirits in this room, can you make a sound, please? The energies that were here earlier, can you make your presence known in some way? Can you affect one of us? steps of other guests. It's in like um, almost like a cold air going around. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's almost like a stroking rather than a... Yeah, so that's other guests coming in. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Yeah, that's fair. Thank you. It, it does feel like the floor is pulling you inwards. Yeah. You know on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where there's a, the floor goes in and the squirrels all go down it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like yes. that, like, a, like yes. a kind of a swirling... So it's like the vortex. Like a yeah. yeah. It's there. Um... Yeah, I I get Pentagram, uh, so for you guys online uh, that are watching this live, um, this is a room that I pick up on uh, occult symbology in this room, and I can see symbols on the floor. One of those is a Pentagram, um, but there are other symbols as well, and I think there's a strong connection with um, some of the Egyptian symbology as well in here, uh, which would fit with the time period. It was a big thing, you know, linking in with, with that sort of thing back then as well. Probably actually done like went to Egypt, didn't they? Um, yes. They actually done, dabbled in some really dark things over there. Yeah, um, the the Egyptian side of it is is quite prevalent in um, in in that side of things yeah. with with Crowley and Thelema and um, that side of things. So it would it would link in with that. I do, I believe he visited here as well um, as part of the you know the the kind of the whole energy that's here with the idea of partying yeah. and then the idea of the, the ritualistic side of it involved in all of that or afterwards or at least communicating with spirits and yeah. you know that sort of thing as well it links in very heavily with that are we talking about you could you make a sound Lisa is saying she's picking up on a disfigured face and a twisted mouth. Nice. It's fine for her to say she's not here. (laughs) I'm curious about what you you said the same as Yami when I was saying that there's a man in need wolf mask. Yeah. I don't know if that was a fancy dress thing or whether he was trying to hide his identity. Um... But it was the wolf face that came out of the darkness first, and then I realised that it was a man wearing a mask, which it's made it less scary. Face, yeah, yeah. It's got like a real wolf at first. Yeah. So it could be like a party mask. It could be 
could be, yeah. Yeah. I wondered that if it was a fancy dress party thing. I've got a dog. Have you? Okay. Not black one, is it? No. It's like a golden labrador. It's like ours, but bigger. How are you guys feeling that are watching live? Let us know. Anything else you're picking up on in this room? I feel quite calm. Do you? It doesn't feel the same as it felt earlier. No. It feels different. I could stay here on my own, but I feel <laughs> quite calm. I could sleep now, I think. You couldn't sleep in the bed. No, but I'd be quite happy to lay down on the floor and go to sleep. <laughs> right in the middle of the pentagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel quite at home now. It's not cold or anything in here, is it? No. It's warm in here, isn't it? It's nice and warm. Hi, Chad. Good to see you're watching. Ooh, We're at Warwick Castle. want to be warm. That noise, the sound that we're hearing in here, is that the sound of the, the weir outside? Is that what, what that we're hearing? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not the heating that's on it. It's no. the actual. Well, it gets louder when you're well, it, There is any heating in there. That heaviness is spreading into my arms now, and it's going off. That's the weir. Yeah, I suddenly it. feel like, I didn't dream of this, a relief, like a lightness. Yeah, it does feel like that. I think I'm going to move on, because... Um, I'm sure these guys watching, I want to see around a bit more. So I'm going to let you guys carry on where you are. Oh, I'm going to head on. You can go out that door, can you? Yeah. Did we come in that way door. before? We did, didn't we? Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm going to head off out there. Good luck, guys. Yeah. See you in a bit. Okay. Right. You look good? Oh, no, sorry. I didn't mean to shine the torch right in your face there. No, no, look good. Right, okay. So, making our way through. We yeah. are... We're broadcasting live on Facebook. Is it? So we're, we're just having a little walk around. I'm going to turn the camera around again so the guys can see where we're going. Turn it on the lights. I'm going to shine the torch so they can see what we can see. There we go. Right, so we're heading uh, along the corridor now. We've got some yeah. lovely pictures. Let's show you guys some of these beautiful pictures that are here. It's fantastic to see these things. Did you find something? Oh, there's, there's plenty of spirits here. Is it? Yeah! Oh, damn, oh, that's oh, right. Plenty of spirits here. <laughs> yeah. You, you've never seen any spirits here? Uh -uh. No? I have the things, but I've never seen. Okay. <laughs> what would you do if you saw a spirit? Huh? What would you do? Would you well, run, what do you think? Would you run away? What do you think? Yeah, think what do you run. think? I think you'd be gone. <laughs> In a cloud of smoke, you'd disappear. Well, what that's do you what think, think if you see something? I, I would talk to it. I'd have <laughs> a conversation. Go. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'd love to. No. <laughs> right. So this is where Libby told us earlier that they, they used to pass coffins through that gate there. There's a, there's a handle oh, in, the, okay. in the stairs. So apparently they would pass uh, coffins through there and then the, the room beyond that, we don't have access to that, but the room beyond that would have been the morgue. Apparently that's, that's true. Just going to work our way down the stairs without blinding anybody with the light. Sorry, I'm, I'm, kept, I'm trying to be careful. Yeah, I'm not filming people. I'm, I'm just... There we go. I, I know. So, working our way down the stairs now. Just giving you guys a little bit of a look around. Okay, right. Heading on down. I don't like this part of the building um, because I don't like bodies. I'm happy with spirits but not happy with bodies. Like lots of dead bodies. <laughs> it's a bizarre thing to say. Fresh. Yeah, it is exactly like that. It's coming down another spiral staircase. Oh, right, I'm going to turn the camera around again yeah, so we're not filming the uh, guests. There we go. Okay, right. Coming outside now, down the steps. There we go. Okay. Where else can I take you guys quickly? Let's have a look. Hello, Max. 
Nice to see you're watching. <laughs> Good to see. Just having another really quick wonder before I make it, uh, make my way back to the base room. Um, let's head on down here. <laughs> Trying to, can I get down there? Yes, I think I can get down that way. Let's go. Okay, let's show you very quickly down here. Just heading, heading back sort of towards the base room area, so you might hear voices down here. Right, what do you guys think about this area? How do you feel down here? Oh, I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see this. Okay. Okay, so. We have another room here that's got mannequins in it. Mannequins again. Uh, there is a dungeon. Um, I don't know if I'll probably lose the Facebook. Okay, I lost connection there. We went too low, went too far down. So I'm sorry about that. We actually lost our internet connection. Um, that's the problem with these lovely thick walls. Okay. Um, so you've seen a fair bit, as much as I can show you without. I can't go underground unfortunately because we're losing the uh, signal down there and it's a shame, it's a shame we can't go down there and film down there but there we are. So we've been in the mirror maze, that was amazing, get it? Sorry. We've been in um, the ghost tower or the haunted tower, that's not usually accessible on locations like this. Where's Dashwood? Funny you should say that, Max. Um, we've just been in the room that um, we, uh, I was picking up on a lot of occult energy in one of the bedrooms. Um, and some of the energies coming through there were absolutely fantastic. Really great energies. Um, we've been calling out in there, trying to get some, some connection to spirit in there as well. That happened earlier. But just thought I'd show you this. Walking backwards down here. So Warwick Castle, this is, this is one of my favourite locations. It's absolutely huge. Um, there's loads of great energy here, really wonderful energy and, and plenty of um, spirits to talk to. It's been a very active night already. In, in the mirror maze we've had tapping, we've had footsteps, we've had banging, um, we've had lights already um, and we haven't even started doing the vigils yet so I'm going to head back to the base room now um, in a second and start doing the vigils with the guests that are here um, so I'm going to wrap up with you with you guys in a moment we're going to head back to the base room hopefully you've had a good look around and hopefully you've been able to see um, some of the location I'm going to turn the camera around again so you can get another view of the front yeah. Tell me one thing. If you see something face to face, mm -hmm. what do you what do you what do you say? What I say what hello. You no, you said hello. If I say <laughs> <laughs> I would say hello. I would I would try to to get a conversation and say what what are you doing here? Is there something you'd like to say? Do you need any help? Uh -huh. That's how I talk to the spirits. So it's just like talking to a person. Come on, man. If something not, <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, if something is not human, you know, how can you talk? Would you no. like to be on my video? To me? Yeah. Oh, no, no, thank you. Not I can me. ask you some questions. <laughs> thank you. I'm just asking you because okay. we are working here. Yeah, maybe, you know, something, or, you know, if somebody, something come on your front, uh -huh. like what, if, what, if, what we do? Well, you can run. If you feel like it. You can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I would open a conversation with this spirit. Uh -huh. Say hello. Ask them what they want. Maybe they just want to say hello. It might be that simple. It might be that, that easy. No. Just talk to them like another person. Just say, hi. How are you doing? You can just say that. We can hear You're still scared. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, that's... But there's, there's really, there's no reason to be scared. Mm -hmm. You just talk to them like, a, like you're talking to a person. Yeah. What does Robert say? Lisa says it's beautiful. Robert says, thanks, Cass, have fun and safe drive home. I'll do my best. Um, so how many of you guys have actually been to Warwick Castle during the day? Have you been? Check out the snack situation, I will in a minute. It's a beautiful location, absolutely beautiful. Um, the, the dark doesn't really do it justice. You need to come and visit in the day so you can see everything. Hi, Kim, good to see you. Um, so I'm gonna wrap up in a moment because I need to head back to the base room and uh, start to do vigils with people. But thank you so much for watching, guys, you folks online. Um, and my new friend here who's, who's asking me questions about the paranormal. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, we are at Warwick Castle um, and hopefully I'll be going live again next week so we'll be putting this video um, onto YouTube as well. If you guys are watching on YouTube, Chad's been, it is a wonderful place. Lisa says my husband proposed to me here. That is romantic. That is romantic. Hi Wendy, um, I'm just wrapping up here but this video will be uh, online soon for you to view the whole thing from start to finish. Um, Warwick Castle is a fantastic location, we've had loads of activity already, lots of talking to the spirits already, it's been very very good. Um, so if, you, if you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere other than Facebook, um, come and join the Facebook page Raven Mystic. I'm here tonight with Fright Nights Warwickshire. Fright Nights Warwickshire often do ghost hunts here at Warwick Castle, so you can get online um, and book through Fright Nights Warwickshire. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope to catch up with you soon. Bye!